So Project Slayer is just released not long ago. And I mean not long ago, I mean it's been out for like a week. But today I'll be showing you guys my wishes for update 1 which is the Mugen Train update. One of the things I want in update 1 is sun breathing. Tanjiro used it in season 1 against a lower moon. It's just a cool breathing style that only he can use. And someone else but I won't spoil manga spoilers. But he can use the move and make it so like if you're trying to unlock um, sun breathing. Oh, first you have to be Kamado or another clan. Then you have to do like that Kagura dance. But you can make it work like where you like the cl clash system in the game. Or you press Z, X, C, like that type of stuff. Make you do like a long quest line to unlock it. So you just don't get it straight off the bat. So they have a bit more content to it. So you can have a bit more fun with it. And then make it so you can use it with your other breathings. Make it a spec. You can use it with your other breathings. And you can just have a fun time. You can use like water and sun breathing. And make it so like, hold on. Add awakenings to the game. So like. So if I use on um, constant flux, it would like turn into sun breathing if you know what I mean. So let's talk about the new bosses. The first boss, I feel like we need a Rengoku boss. Where he uses flame breathing, yada yada yada. Just do whatever you want. The next boss we need is a Emu and a Kaze boss. Which will be world events, like the Slayer exams, only happen at set times. Where you can get on um, T10 chests and make them the strongest bosses in the game. And then, we can have a Tanjiro boss to unlock skills for sun breathing. You can also add a Ryu boss, I don't know how to say Ryu, I don't know. You can also add that boss to unlock like for like the first quest of sun breathing. And it'll be a pretty fun boss with strings and things of that nature. And yeah, that's basically all the bosses I want to see. So the things I want in the update is Tanjiro's Katana, which will drop from the Tanjiro boss, which will use Sun Breathing and will be a T5 chest. Then we have Rengoku's wig as a Game Pass item, so developers can make their money even though the things are overpriced. Then you have Rengoku's Katana, which obviously should be added. Then you have Akaza's clothing and the customization, Sun Breathing earrings. For Kamado players and Kamado players only, Broken Sword cosmetic and Rui's clothing. So of course we'll have Sun Breathing, Flame Breathing, and your Fight the Mind Goku boss to get the Nine's form. And then we'll have uh, someone you can learn dual wielding from, do a little quest and like that. We'll save Beast Breathing for the Entertainment District update where you need to unlock dual wielding and have it unlocked to um. Get breeze breathing, and there will be a no skate boss to that point. Get into that another video once update one drops. And yeah, that's basically my wishes for update one of Project Slaves. Thank you for watching. Please don't take anything said in this video to heart. See you later. I know I'm different from the rest. I'm chasing that bag, I no time for a cheese. You're talking money, man, all of it, please. I pull up before, got me stuck in a dream. Yeah. Yeah. Bitches used to laugh because I'm a rapper. Now they all around, it's a Mac Dodge.